Hello and welcome to some more Tesla news. Very exciting as always, lots of stuff. First off, the mobile app's been updated. So that's finally out. You can get it for iOS or Android and it's got an updated interface. It's much faster. It's got touch ID. So if you want to start your car, you can use your thumb instead of having to type out your password and it doesn't have any other features. So people are a little bit disappointed that it doesn't have more capability. You know, it's, it's, it's something. <laughs> it hasn't been updated in, in many years, like three or four years, something like that. It's, it's been a while. Tesla has finally released an update to the maps inside the Tesla so that you can see the supercharger availability on your nav system, how many supercharger stalls are in use or if they're empty. So you can say, um, like in Wyoming, all the stalls are empty. <laughs> so there's no problem and you don't really have a choice. You, you have to charge that supercharger. But over in California, there might be a couple of them within driving distance of what range you have available. And you could determine your route to go somewhere based on the availability of the chargers. So, you know, there might be one that's got uh, eight out of the 10 charging stations full. And there's another one that's got, you know, eight free out of the 10 supercharger stations empty. So it's very handy and it's, it's really cool. It'll also tell you if they're charging the 40 cents idle time, if it's that full. So that's, that's very handy. In Model 3 news, Tesla is going to be shutting down their factory on the 20th of February this month to start retooling the line to start building some pre-production Model 3s. I mean, obviously they've built some prototypes, but I, I, I think this is kind of like testing out, you know, actually building some real Model 3s. Let, let me know what you guys know about this. They, they've done this before with the Model X when they shut the, the line down to kind of rebuild to start producing them. They're supposed to start shipping as early as July, um, but they probably won't ship until December. <laughs> all, the, all the parts are supposed to be in and ready by July 1st. Uh, it's proved that they're getting ready. There's, an, there's a Tesla Model 3 mule driving around with a 70 kilowatt battery pack. And that's pretty interesting because it was noted before that the base Model 3, the $35,000 one, would be in a battery less than 60 kilowatts. So it, it'll be interesting if they just stuff 70 kilowatt packs into all of them. And then, you know, you can pay for the 55 kilowatt pack or the 60 kilowatt pack or, you know, the 70 kilowatt or however they end up divvying it up. It'll be, it'll be kind of interesting. What ideal pack sizes would you guys like to see? I mean, obviously you want a 100 kilowatt, but Elon Musk tweeted out there won't be a 100 kilowatt pack for the Model 3. And again, he, he reiterated that there won't be a, anything more than a 100 kilowatt pack for the S or the X. It'll be interesting. They'll probably make more efficient packs so you can get better range, less weight uh, as technology advances, but they're, they're really not gonna aim to do more than 100 kilowatt hours because if you just keep cramming more batteries in, you add weight and then it, the, the range, you know, it doesn't increase as much. So, I mean, they could just slam more batteries in, but then you have to add even more batteries to get less of an increase improvement in range, if that makes any sense. It's just not as efficient. So the idea is to make, you know, make it more efficient. Uh, this week there was an article going around how there was a security flaw in the Model X, and I think it's the new refreshed Model S's as well, where the eye bolt, where you take it out, there's a release for the trunk. So that, you know, obviously things aren't secure, so you wouldn't want to put like your purse or whatever in the trunk and lock it because people could just you know, use a screwdriver and pop open the cover for the eye bolt and pull the strings and bam, the trunk's open. It's there for emergencies, so safety responders and stuff can cut the power to the vehicle, I believe. That eye bolt's very useful, by the way. I was able to tow somebody out of the snow with it, which was kind of fun, you know, using an electric car to tow a regular car out of the snowbank. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you like the videos, let me know. And uh, of course, if you think about buying a Model S or X, please use my referral code. I don't want to push it on you guys too much, but it'll save you a thousand bucks if you order and it'll get me entered in to the different prizes for the referral program. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys later.